Hi everybody, welcome to my Tretinoin 8 month update. Um, I wanted to start by mentioning that I did change a few things um, ever since my last update I did here on my channel for my 6 month update. Um, I changed my routine a little bit because I was experiencing way too much peeling and um, it was getting a little bit out of control and I just really wanted to have a day to not peel so much, you know? So I'm going to start off by talking about some of the things that I changed. So first off, I started, um, started using the tretinoin every other day. And just so you know, I'm sorry I didn't mention this first, but I'm on 0.05% cream. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So, yeah, I started using it every other day instead of every day. Um, I also decreased the amount I was using. So I, I was using like, like a whole like fingertip kind of amount. And now I use like... A pea size to like half a pea size so um, it's because it's very powerful anyways so I just thought I would you know kind of tone it down and that's been really helpful um, another thing that I did was I started using um, Curology again I used to use Curology um, I'm reincorporating it now because I really wanted to like see what other things I could do to like kind of like amp up my you know my skincare and I really like the ingredients that I had in my formula before I have so in my um, in my formula my Curology formula I have three ing three ingredients it's azelaic acid niacinamide and clindamycin or something I didn't want to have to get all of those things separately so I just wanted to get my curology again so on my off days I will use my formula from curology um, and that's helped a lot at minimizing my like peeling and just kind of giving my skin like a breather from the tretinoin um, uh, so yeah, and another thing that I incorporated was I started using the Paula's Choice 2% uh, salicylic acid liquid exfoliant. It's a really long name. Um, I've seen it here on YouTube a lot, and um, it's very, very good. I used to use it before I started using tretinoin, um, but I stopped using it uh, when I started the tretinoin because I didn't want to mix anything. Um, so I started using it again and I really, really love it. Like it makes my skin look so like smooth and, and just clear and clean. And I, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I, maybe I'm just, I don't know, but I love that stuff. <clears throat> I know I'm not alone because a lot of people really, really like that stuff. So, um, it's, it's like... I like the, obviously it has salicylic acid in it, I always have such a problem saying that word, but, and it's good at, you know, pore and clogging and whatever, but it's also very, like, it's simultaneously very moisturizing at the same time, so I really, really need that because my skin is, like, parched all of a sudden all the time now, you know? So, yeah, I really, really like that stuff. Um, and the last thing that I changed was I started using or I started putting my moisturizer first um, before I put the tretinoin on my face um, and I should have done that a long time ago I had seen that suggestion like in numerous videos I watched but I didn't do it but now I am and it's a lot a lot better you know um, as far as the any changes I've seen from the tretinoin, I really honestly haven't seen any significant differences compared to my six month update I did with you guys. I haven't really seen any crazy changes, um, but I will definitely keep an eye out and I will also be posting pictures throughout this video so you can see. I didn't take very many. Yeah, I. I think that if you're experiencing any like irritation at first that's normal 
but after because I've been using it for what like like eight months now and I was still you know experiencing some peeling a lot of peeling and at that point it shouldn't be so bad but it was for me and I was clearly doing something wrong so I kind of changed things up and it's been very very helpful for me so um yeah I really hope this was helpful I hope that any of the products I mentioned um you should give it a try if you're having any irritation like um the every other day method is a lot better the moist putting in your moisturizer first is way way better too um and I'll leave everything linked below for you. The moisturizer I use is incredible. I wish I started using it a long time ago. Because <laughs> at first I was using like the CeraVe AM one. And it just, I don't know what it was. It just wasn't, it wasn't moisturizing enough. Um, while you're using the Tretinoin, it just wasn't moisturizing enough. Um, and I was I start I I tried the CeraVe uh, moisturizing cream. It still wasn't really that. It wasn't. It didn't quench my skin the way it needed to be while I was on that medication or while I'm on tretinoin. It didn't help as much as I needed. Um, and I also tried the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, which isn't thick enough at all. But I had gone through all these different moisturizers, and now I use the Vani Cream moisturizing cream. Um, it's clean, simple ingredients. I buy it at my pharmacy. Um, it's like $11 for like a big tub. Um, this is what it looks like. I've seen Dr. Dre mention it too, and it's honestly so freaking good. It's such a good moisturizer. Like I use it for my arms, I use it for my body and everything. It's just really all around a good moisturizer. So I hope this was helpful. I appreciate everyone watching um, and if you guys have any questions as far as anything I had mentioned in this video or about anything please feel free to ask um, and thank you so much for all these new subscribers I've gotten I that's crazy I am close to 100 subscribers and I did not ever think that's not like crazy amount but for me it is for me that, that's a lot to me <laughs> But, um, so thank you everyone for supporting me, and like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, so thank you again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.